Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to the online class of English reading and writing for grade 5. Here is your teacher Mrs. Naula. How are you my dear students? I hope you all will be okay. Today we are going to study our verse winnings and sentences for lesson number 2 of unit 5. The title of the lesson is The Day the Rollers Got Their Moxie Bag. During our previous lecture we studied the main text of this lesson and today we will do verse meanings and sentences from page 86 to 89 for this lesson. And what are our objectives? Yes, my dear students. You are going to learn the meanings of words and how to use the words in sentences. Moreover, the comprehension task will also be carried out. First of all, we will do the comprehension activity. Here are three questions on page number 86 and 87. Question number one on page 86. What was father's profession what was father's profession please write the answer the father was an artist by profession the father was an artist by profession profession means a work or an activity you do to earn livelihood Number two question, why did the girls want to go to the kitchen? Why did the girls want to go to the kitchen? Please write down the answer on your book. Actually, the girls wanted to tell her mom who was working in the kitchen about a talent show. Actually, the girls wanted to tell her mom who was working in the kitchen about a talent show. Number three question on page 87. How did the girls feel when everyone burst into applause? Applause means appreciation. When everyone was clapping for them, then what was the feeling of those girls? I will repeat the question. How did the girls feel when everyone burst into applause? Please write the answer. By that time, the girls felt that the future blossomed ahead of them like a beautiful flower. I will repeat the answer. By that time, the girls felt that the future blossomed ahead of them like a beautiful flower. Now we are going to do words, meanings and sentences from page 86 to page 89. The first word is assume. Now write the meaning to suppose, to suppose something to be true, to think about the credibility of anything. That is the meaning of the word assume. Now you are going to write the sentence. I assume that this house can cost me $200,000. I assume that this house can cost me $200,000. Here you can see. I am looking at a house or a building. I want to purchase it. I want to be the owner of this house. I do not know how much price it will have. But it is my estimate. It is my thinking or it is my assumption that the price of the house is $200,000. I assume that the price of the house is about $200,000. Our number two word is guarantee. Guarantee means to give an assurance. To give an assurance is the meaning for the word guarantee. My dear students, please write the end sentence. We can guarantee you that this smartphone has no fault. We can guarantee you that this smartphone has no fault. When you are going to buy any phone from a shop, you will ask the shopkeeper how long it will keep working. Is there any malfunctioning or problem? The shopkeeper will reply, you can take it easily and I guarantee you about the credibility of the phone. It has no problem 
at all. In case it has got an error, I will replace it with a new one. Guarantee means to give an assurance. Our number three word is nominate. Nominate means to name someone. Now you are going to write the sentence for number three word. The principal will nominate me as a class prefect. The principal will nominate me as a class prefect. You can see the picture of a student. She is very hardworking. Every time she scores very extraordinary marks in the quizzes. Because of her intelligent work, what has the principal decided? He or she is going to appoint or nominate her as the class prefect. Means she will be nominated as the class monitor of students. Nominate means to name someone. Our number four word is obviously with the meaning clearly. Clearly is the meaning for the word obviously. Please write the sentence. Quite obviously we are the winners. Quite obviously we are the winners. Obviously means something is not hidden. Obviously means something that is in the knowledge of every person. Now this is a trophy. Obviously is not the meaning of trophy actually. But you will carry it only when the whole world knows that you are the champion. Then you can sh show this trophy proudly to other person and tell them see we are the champions. We are not loser. Obviously we are the winners. Our next word is rely. Rely means to depend. Now write the sentence. Whenever a trouble hits me, I rely on my friend. Whenever a trouble hits me, I rely on my friend. You can see I am doing a hiking. As I got fatigued and tired, I can't go up further. Here in this critical time, my friend is giving me a support. Now you can say I rely on my friend to get myself out of trouble. Our next word is sportive. Sportive means helpful. A person who gives you help during your difficult time. A person who is very resourceful for you. Sporty means helpful. Now you are going to write the sentence. We all friends are very sportive for each other. We all friends are very sportive for each other. You can see an illustration. This illustration shows four friends which are huddling with each other. All the time they stand close to each other whenever there is a problem. They stand together and solve the issue. Next word is sympathy. Sympathy means a feeling of pity. A feeling of pity is the meaning for the word sympathy. Now you are going to write the sentence. I offered sympathy to my friend when he was ill. I offered sympathy to my friend when he was ill. I offered sympathy to my friend when he was ill. Sympathy is actually your kind feeling which you develop in your heart when you see someone in a deep trouble. Now for example there is a situation your friend has been suffering from any disease for the last three or four days. As you come to know about his ailment you want to know about his condition. Then in order to show your kind and sincere feelings and wishes for your friend, you will send him some flowers. These flowers actually will show your sympathy for someone. This is a kind of, of feeling. A feeling of sorrow or feeling of pity is the meaning for the word sympathy. And the last word is weakling. Weakling means a person or anyone who is very much weak, who is not having a lot of physical strength. Now write the sentence. The late arrival of mother made the bird feel like a weakling. The late arrival of mother made the bird feel like a weakling.
you can see a picture of a bird this bird is waiting for her mother when she will come and give him some food so by that time this bird is looking like a weakling means looking very weak this bird is not having a lot of physical strength my dear students so far we have done our verse meanings and sentences for lesson number two of unit five as your homework you are going to learn the words meanings also you will frame new sentences about these eight vocabulary words by using your own creativity thank you very much for attending the online class see you next time with a new lesson till then bye bye